Chicago's two-year-old grandson has died after he was mauled by their neighbor's six dogs. Now, the child was playing outside their house when he was attacked by the dogs. The house help tried to fight off the dogs, but they were too vicious uh, for her. Now, police have launched probe into the incident. Now, just to tell us more on that very sad story, we're now joined by our Nyeri based reporter Carol Derry. Carol, good morning. I'm sure this is an incident that has shocked so many people in Nyeri. What are police saying? And uh, have they managed to find out maybe what, the, what problem the dog had? A good morning to you. Quite an unfortunate incident, as you've rightly put it. Uh, but it wasn't the house help who tried to save the young boy. It was the grandmother who did so. That is the former first lady of Neri County, Margaret Enderito. She was at the home when that incident occurred. And we understand that the mother of the boy was also inside the house. And uh, these dogs just uh, made their way into the compound through a hole that they had uh, burrowed through uh, the Kayab Kayaba fence uh, that surrounded the home. So the child was practically just playing outside, and these dogs uh, came in about, uh, uh, you know, hound dogs. There are six Rottweilers that came and attacked the boy. And uh, the grandmother's efforts, that is a former first lady, to try and thwart the dogs. She told us that she tried to throw stones at the dogs, but her efforts were unsuccessful against a pack of six Rottweilers. And um, she scrambled together with the mother of the boy and some border border operators who were nearby heard uh, the screams and then they were able to get inside the household and try to fight the dogs. Now, we have just spoken to the OCPD near East Central, that is Mwinde Kyoko, who has confirmed that the owner of the dogs and the handler were arrested and they've already been taken to court and taken a plea. Uh, for now, they've been charged with negligence, but we understand that the state council later might press charges of manslaughter against the owner and the handler of the six road trailers. And also, uh, the county veterinary officer, together with the public health officer, expected to explain and disclose how the six dogs will be disposed now that uh, it is an issue of killing the dogs. The dogs have to be disposed. And all this we've gotten from the nearest central OCPD. Once again, we confirm that uh, the owner of the dogs and the handler of the dogs was supposed to have been manning the dogs. Remember that this incident happened at about 10 a.m. And the deputy governor, Nyeri County, Mutahi Kahiga, who immediately went to the home yesterday, did ask questions. Why were the dogs... Uh, not restrained at that particular time. Mid-morning at 10 a.m., why were the dogs, uh, you know, roaming free? And uh, in an unclear arrangement, we understand that uh, the dogs were, had also been, um, or were being used to guard a nearby construction site. It is not quite clear how that arrangement uh, came to be. But of course, police are also conducting further investigations to ascertain exactly what happened, why this happened at 10 a.m. and the dogs um, strolled in or got inside the compound. And uh, as we have said, they have been charged with negligence now, the owner and the handler. But the state council is expected to bring up charges on, of manslaughter against the duo and any other person perhaps they'll find culpable in this matter. And as friends and uh, family are still streaming into the late uh, governor's compound at Ring Road Estate in Nyeri, perhaps uh, to plan for the funeral and uh, condole with the family over that unfortunate incident. And uh, maybe lastly, if I can point out, uh, just about a few months ago, another similar incident happened in Nyeri County around Kamoyo area. This elderly man strolled into the wrong compound and uh, found three German shepherds who also viciously, viciously attacked him and mauled him to death. So this is something that uh, the Nyeri authorities are raising. As we have said, the deputy governor uh, said that uh, it is quite irresponsible for the owners of, the dog, of these dogs to let them just roam free and cause injuries and deaths to, you know, uh, innocent, unsuspecting uh, people, residents. Uh, one yes, final question. Forgive me if you've already mentioned. Uh, apart from the police, are there veterinary officers also investigating or looking at these dogs? Maybe they're suffering from diseases, who knows? And uh, do you expect these dogs to be euthanized? Okay. Yes, the deputy governor, if I'm to quote him, he said that he was told that the dogs were on heat. Be that as it may, the question is then why 
whether they were hit or not, or whatever issues that the dogs may have had, why were they unrestrained at 10 a.m.? Somebody was irresponsible. Somebody was supposed to have been manning the dogs. Is responsible because uh, they were supposed to have been contained at that time uh, or locked in uh, because it was mid-morning. Uh, the county veterinary officer, the information I've gotten from the OCPD near central, Mwinde Kyoko, says that the county veterinary officer and the public health officer are expected to communicate how the dogs will be disposed of, uh, if I may borrow your term, uh, because they killed a boy, a two-year-old boy. So they're waiting for information from the county health officer but it is confirmed that the dogs will have to be killed so the information as to how that will be done is what uh, we are waiting for from the county health officer and the public health officer Thanks.